<laughs> Rose, Matthew, Michael and Jamie and Thomas join me now. Good morning. Good morning. How are you all? I feel, I feel very fancy that you're in. I feel, I feel <laughs> you look very great. We, I love smart, that. dressed up for you. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm dressed up for you guys. <laughs> uh, so, new album. This yeah. is exciting. Uh, tell me a bit about it. What can your fans expect? Uh, so, we, I know we say this every time, but we genuinely think this is our best album mm. yet. We've got stuff mm. from West Side Story, Les Mis, we've got stuff from Miss Saigon, Wicked, and we've even got something from The Greatest Showman as well. So, um, very, very exciting. favourite. Right. You must love doing that, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, but, so, you were signed to Psycho, Simon Cowell's label, yes. but now this is a, a very exciting moment for you because... You've got your own record label. Yeah, that's right. Uh, same with the last album. We had complete um, artistical license yeah. with, this, with this album. So we had a word on all of the songs, the mm. arrangements, the orchestration, absolutely everything. So it really is our baby in that aspect. Of course, it must be. And I suppose getting creative control solely for you guys must mm. be quite an amazing feeling, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. I think musical theatre was what we always wanted to mm -hmm. do. On Britain's Got Talent, we sang Stars from Les Mis. Yes. Um, when we were with Psycho, it was amazing, but I know they wanted us to do a few pop covers as well, which we do love to do, but, mm. but it's not I think you. sticking with musical theatre is, is really our passion. And I love that you know that. That's good, yeah. and you're yeah. owning it. <laughs> uh, can, can you give us a little taster? Because uh, I, I would love a little uh, debut if I can. Absolutely, yeah. 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 I'll just you. get our note from this magical pillow behind me. <laughs> never enough, never, never, never enough, never, never, never enough for me, for me, for me. And that's, that's my right. favourite song. Oh, that's that's so so good. There we go. Thank you. It's a lovely present. Thank you, boys. Uh, now, you're going to end the tour uh, next year at the Royal Albert yeah. Hall. I mean, talk about a way to end it. That's, I know. It's going to be incredible. We actually did that on our second tour, but the, the point of this album being Road to the Royal Albert Hall is that it ends in this beautiful, stunning venue. Yeah. We're going to how many dates? 52. 52. 52. Mm. Yeah. Um, but it's just such an iconic place to perform. As everyone's dream gig, right? The oh, Royal yeah. Albert Hall. Yeah. And just, yeah. just even saying that is it feels special, doesn't when it? When you think of all the artists that have performed on that stage, mm -hmm. to be able to say that we've done it not only once before on our own and now headlining again, it's yes. going to be insane. Absolutely. Now, what's this about your special ritual? Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, we just... So the deal is we didn't do every day. <laughs> Come on, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't do it today. <laughs> so, so it's obviously very special to you guys. <laughs> We've done it now. We've done it now. Here we go. <laughs> it's all gonna be okay. Uh, but you guys have become very good friends of Sir Cliff. Yeah, yeah we which have. Is, it's very showbiz, isn't it? We did a gig about two years ago at the Dorchester with Mel C, as you do, and um, <laughs> Cliff was there and he was watching. And then suddenly we got a phone call saying, "Do you guys want?" He came to see us afterwards. Right. And then we got a phone call saying, "Do you want to come on?" Tour with me, and Are we said, serious? Yeah, <laughs> yes, please. And we've become really good friends. And he was, he was really funny the whole tour. He was like taking selfies and videos of himself from the side of the stage when we were singing. Mm -hmm. Um, and then he comes to our gigs now, doesn't he? He comes to a couple of our things. Mm -hmm. We did that a London residency sorry. recently, and he came no, along. Awesome. He yeah. surprises us, he just turns up. Which That's is the real pinch me because normally acts ask to go on tour with the likes of like Sir Cliff, but for him yeah. to ring you. What a compliment it was great. I think is. when we got the call, we were like, do we wait five minutes before we say yes? <laughs> oh, you can't play that call. No, no, are we going to leave him on red for a little bit? <laughs> no, absolutely so not. Uh, and you're about to go on tour with uh, Barry Manilow. Yes. Yeah. Which, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, <laughs> yeah. OK, off you go tomorrow. You must be excited about that. Absolutely. We're doing six dates around arenas. So we're doing Birmingham, Leeds, mm. Manchester, and then three nights at the O2. So we cannot wait for those Amazing. venues. Yep. Um, is it true, Michael, that you wanted to be Harry Potter? I did. <laughs> right? Oh, no. I hope this wouldn't come up. <laughs> uh, no, it, it, it's going to come up. We, we sort of worked out what it could look like, because I think okay. it's always useful to know oh, what one oh, could look like as Harry Potter. Oh, <laughs> yes. I love that. Uh, <laughs> can we get a copy of yeah. that, please? Yeah, I mean, I would, do you want me to frame oh, it for you? Yeah. <laughs> you can take it on tour, and that can be a little mascot in your dressing room. Oh, my goodness. What thank you, you. Well, we went to um, Japan, Universal Studios, <laughs> and the boys dressed me up looking pretty much like that, and they actually got me to do a one demonstration, didn't they? Oh, <laughs> so, so, studio, so You didn't need you know. any prompting. You got up there. That's yeah. my <laughs> favourite picture.